the Palm Pre, the iPhone 4, the Google Nexus 4. There are just a few phones released more than five and even 10 years ago that can elicit such vivid memories and fondness, and those do it for me. But there is more than nostalgia that has urged me to suggest that Google should bring the Nexus back. First, let's take a look back at what the Nexus brand stood for. The essence boils down to a clean, Google-made experience with absolutely no bloatware, with timely Android updates, and all of that garnished with top hardware. The real magic for the recipe, however, was in those little optimizations that made Nexus phones run smoothly for years and years on end, while other phones deteriorated quickly. Some anecdotal evidence is due here. A couple of my friends were still rocking a Nexus 5 last year, a full five years after its release, and the phone felt zippier than many current day phones in daily tasks. It was the poor battery life and a broken screen that had both of them eventually give up these phones, but both guys have fond memories of that handset. And both were actually appreciative of the fact that the device was made of plastic, and at least its back wouldn't crack. So what was a Nexus phone to those who really cared about it? Put simply, it was a really affordable variant of what Google is currently doing with the Pixel lineup. It was a beater phone, yet one they loved. Now, can we resurrect this wonderful concept in the present? When speaking about these phones, we ought to go back in time and take a quick look at the history of the Nexus lineup. It started way back in 2010 with the cute Nexus One made by HTC. It was the first and only Nexus phone to feature a multicolor trackball, which would be such a cool retro futuristic thing to have in the present, and its design was a derivative of the then popular Desire series. Then we had two years of plastic fantastic Nexus phones by Samsung, a couple of LG models, and in the last year of Nexus existence, we had two phones, one made by LG, the Nexus 5X, and one by HTC. So what is it that we want currently? Google already has the Pixel series, which is basically a Nexus at a double price. So is it even worth bothering with a new Nexus? And can't it just release a Pixel Lite and call it a day? That will certainly satisfy most people, but resurrecting the Nexus brand has a much bigger potential than releasing a handicapped light device. A Nexus that I dream about as a fan of the series will involve resurrecting an iconic design from the Nexus past with a modern, full-screen, edge-to-edge twist, a capable camera, and great battery life. Imagine the stunning glass finish on the Nexus 4 on a modern phone, or even something slightly funky like the curved Galaxy Nexus, or the aforementioned colored trackball on a modern phone. Why not? In 2019, it's clear that everyone already knows what makes a great phone. The thin all-screen glass slab from the future is here. But as much as I love all those modern trends like nano lithography, I'm still missing something. I'm missing that character, that personality, and a brand new Nexus that could rise from the dust like a phoenix and could bring all that and infuse new energy in a market that's becoming, well, a bit boring. So where do you stand on that? Are you willing to step out of the box of the established modern smartphone form factor? Let us know in the comments right below. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will talk to you in the next one.